Judge Supreme Court of India, my esteemed brother and sister judges, honorable former judges of this court, Justice T.V. Ramakrishnan, former judge, High Court of Kerala, Chief Patron Sarada Krishna, Satkamaya Foundation for Law and Justice, Sri Justice Balakshanayar, former judge of the High Court of Kerala, President of the Foundation, Sri Sudhaka Prasad, Granite Advocate General, Sri Sunil Jacob Joes, President Kerala High Court Advocates Association, Registrars of this court, Office bearers and members of the Foundation, Law Officers of the State and Central Governments, Respected Senior Advocates, Mr. Mohammad Basha, President of So Court Trust, Tamil Nadu, Lawyers from the Midras High Court, my dear junior lawyers, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. At the outset, I thank the office bearers of this uh, foundation for giving me an opportunity to deliver the presidential address in a program organized to pay tribute to your great legal luminary and stalwart of Indian legal system, Honorable Justice V. R. Krishnaya. Participation in this function is really a blessing for me in the sense that I am part of uh, this fifth memorial lecture series to be delivered by Honorable Justice C. V. Rabasubhanim, Judge of the Supreme Court. Small information to be shared. In fact, Honorable Justice Ram Subrahim and myself were the products of uh, Ramakrishna Mission Vivekananda College, Madras. He was one year senior to me in the college. We studied chemistry together, and probably that chemistry has worked out even today. Justice Krishnayar was a great intellect, coupled with wide reading and understanding of history, economics, philosophy, and all he put in achieving a constitutional goal of social justice. Through his creativity, knowledge, and judgments, he enabled the citizens to secure social justice along with other laudable objectives enshrined in the Constitution. Report of the Committee on Free Legal Aid, headed by Justice Krishnaya, proved to be the foundation for National Legal Aid Scheme for India. Another important branch of law, which came to blossom during the period of Front of Justice Krishnaya, was human rights jurisprudence. Throughout his readings, I found that the peculiar characteristics of Honorable Justice Krishnaya was that he could translate his belief and principles into reality. That is what he achieved during his stint as a legislator in the old Madras presidency, as a minister in Kerala, as a judge in High Court and Supreme Court. Even after retirement from Supreme Court, he was fully engaged in his writings promoting harmony, social justice, and human rights. Krishna was liked by everyone and respected by many legal luminaries. In fact, when I saw his photographs in the recent uh, photo session that was on uh, 7th, I saw he was liked by every child in Kerala that he had been in the schools and the children had visited his house to see this great legend of this state. I may only quote one letter of Lord Denning about Justice Krishnaya. 
you have indeed been using your time to full advantage. Your book on human rights and law will be the greatest value to many. During your time on the bench, you were a leader of thought on these matters and your judgments have received much acclaim. I find myself largely in agreement with your point of view and, like, and I like your quotation from Rabindranath Tagore. I am a wayfarer of an endless road. My greetings of a wanderer of thee. Meanwhile, with all best wishes for success in all the many things you will do that others may learn of your wisdom. Before I conclude, I must say that I am blessed to work in the state of Kerala where Krishnayar was born. I salute this legend, Justice Krishnayar. Thank you.